I'm at the Frog Hospital where Deborah from FrogSafe is introducing me to Murray, who's in the hospital recovering from chemical burns, and now he's ready for release. They come from the east coast of Australia, from about Townsville, up the east side of Cape York. So far north Queensland? Yeah, okay, cool. definitely far north Queensland. Mm. Um, and they're basically, I mean, you can find them in the rainforest, but also they really love the swampy environment. The light green patch of skin on his back is where he was exposed to the chemicals. The muscle tissue was gone. You could see a bit of the exposed bone. It had eaten through the entire skin layers. The whole time that such a deep wound was healing up, he really wasn't very crazy about food. He would eat, but not aggressively. Deborah would leave the food in the tank and then notice a couple of days later the food was gone. So he was eating but not very much. He felt really lousy for quite some time because this was a very deep injury. Yeah. Uh, and then once the injury had completely healed over and the skin had healed over, then he suddenly started to get interested in food. Now Murray eats really well and he's putting on weight. Will the pale green scar turn to a darker green to match the rest of Murray's skin? It's always going to be much paler than the rest of the uh, body skin. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, the, the damage has been so bad that it's actually damaged the pigment layer. Oh, okay. So uh, he'll probably always have uh, a pale scar there. Pigment is made of blue and yellow particles in the pigment layer and what he has had is partial damage to these particles, so it's not the same shade of green. It will probably be that way permanently, because the damage was so deep. There is just one thing that needs to happen before Murray is returned to the wild. You're just waiting for the rains to come? We're waiting for the wet. Yeah, yeah. the wet season yeah. to start. Yeah, okay. It's just, it's way too dry out there. And with the, the sun is very, very strong up here. It doesn't take long to get burnt at all. We can all help Murray, other frogs and wildlife too by storing chemicals in a locked cabinet and by keeping chemicals and especially fluoride out of their waterways. No fluoride! No fluoride! Remember to subscribe and if you liked this video, give it the thumbs up.